What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. This time, we're taking a look at Mom and Dad, starring Nicolas Cage and Selma Blair, directed by Brian Taylor. Written and directed by Brian Taylor. The story of Mom and Dad is as follows. Uh, parents of a small suburban town just start to go crazy one day, and they start slaughtering their own children. That's pretty much the overall premise of Mom and Dad. Despite a crazy premise, Mom and Dad doesn't really have anything to offer, and that's okay. For a movie like this, I just want a silly, dumb, uh, darkly comedic you know, action horror movie, and Mom and Dad brings us that. Brings me the just that. It does have it does have some decent elements here and there, but overall, Mom and Dad in the pantheon in the plant in the pantheon of movies, it's not going to be remembered as this groundbreaking masterpiece of cinema because it ain't. It ain't going to go down as one of Nicolas Cage's best performances on film because it's not. As a matter of fact, this movie falls in line with any other off-the-wall Nicolas Cage performance. It doesn't really stand out, but it's a lot of fun to see. And that's really what Mom and Dad did. At the end of the day, it's a it's a fun little it's a fun little crazy movie that really has a that really has a pr interesting premise, but doesn't really have anything else going for it aside from its cast. And that's one of the strong points of this movie is the cast: Nicolas Cage and Selma Blair as Brandt and Kendall, this uh, married couple, this married couple who are in a strained relationship, who are pretty much facing a midlife crisis with their own children, you know, just randomly go crazy with everyone, with every other parent in the suburban neighborhood, just killing their own kids. You know, Cage and Blair do a good job on screen. They have decent on-screen chemistry with one another. Uh, you can clearly tell that Selma Blair is more of the straight-laced version, while Nicolas Cage is much more over the top and much more just gonzo. Which he gets, which Nicolas Cage gets towards the end of the movie, is where Nicolas Cage goes into full blown Nicolas Cage mode, and he just chews the scenery like it, like no, like no, like like he normally does. But leading up to that, he's not that bad. He gets, you get like a little snippets of it here and there. It's not to the third act where he gets to unleash, and as always, it's a lot of fun. And like I said, in comparison, Selma Blair is more of the straight laced uh, character. She, she's she's not as uh, over the top or gonzo as Nick Cage, but she does have you know her fu some fun little moments peppered all throughout. So I don't got complaints with that. Uh, the two actors who play Carly and Joshua are main, who are basically the main characters, and the children of uh, Brant and Kendall. They're fine. You no, know, they're stereotypical kids. You know, Carly's the stereotypical teen. Josh is the stereotypical typical little brother they don't really bring any new dimensions to the characters they just play them like any like any like anything else so i don't can't really say much with that and the and the actor who played damon who was carly's boyfriend he's <laughs> he's okay too like i said aside from cage and blair the performances in this movie are not really memorable and they don't really stand out but again this movie is not really based on performances it's based on what it's based on the actions and in, and in so doing so, this movie is full of just over-the-top bloody action. Um, in some areas, I think it's actually pretty cool, especially the whole third act where Brant and uh, where Brant and Kendall are chasing their children all over the house trying to kill them. You know, that shit's hilarious. That shit's darkly comedic and hilarious, especially a scene where they're trying to uh, exfasciate <laughs> them in their own basement and they're acting like they're doing a, like a high school science project, the parents are, and it's freaking hysterical. It's like, uh, so yeah, that stuff is fun. Uh, and then you get scenes peppered throughout of other kid, of other parents killing their kids. You know, that's, you know, it's, it's not, it is what it is. It's not horrible by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I give Brian Taylor this. Uh, I am not a fan of his directing work. Actually, the whole duo of Neville Dean and Taylor, I've never been a fan of. I don't like their directing work. Uh, they, these guys are obsessed with like shaky cam and erratic camera movements movements this movie has a lot of it and i'm not a fan of it you don't need shaky cam to to replicate the tension of what i'm watching on screen like a good action director a good horror director does not need to do does not need to do shaky cam or like these uh synthetic camera tricks in order to make the audience believe that what they're watching is something should make them feel peril a good director doesn't need to use cheap camera tricks they just have to use just you know techniques and atmosphere and tension to build to build upon what they want to show taylor with his directing style he does not have that sort of talent he, he has to rely on the on the cheap tricks in order to elicit like 
just a sense of action or a sense of like a uh, dread or something like that and in this movie a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of the camera work it's not that good some of it is decent and then other and other times the camera does not it just has ADHD and it doesn't know when to stop moving and I can't stand that kind of I hate shaky cam in movies I hate it so much I don't need the shaky cam to let me know that I'm watching an action sequences an action sequence like a good director does not need shaky cam and this movie like I said this movie's chock full of it and again I ain't the biggest fan of Neville Dean and Taylor because that's where Brian Taylor comes from that directing duo but since he did this movie by himself again he relies on the shaky cam there are moments where his directing could be pretty decent and then there are moments where it goes off the where it just like he needs to slow the camera down <clears throat> And that's my biggest complaint with this movie is the is the camera work. I hate the camera work. I'll never get used to shaky cam. I hate it so much. And it does take away from a lot what happens in this movie because towards the like I said in the third act is where the movie starts to really start to ratchet up and get a lot of fun. So like the whole and it actually builds upon the premise of of parents trying to kill their children because so there's this underlying subplot of Brant's parents coming to visit them for dinner and in the third act they come but when they come they try to kill Brant so it builds upon the premise of you know parents trying to kill their children which I like that and you have the granddad being played by the awesome Lance Henriksen and Nicolas Cage and Henriksen have a very entertaining fight scene <laughs> but but it's also very goofy over the top because as Henriksen is trying to kill Cage Cage is trying to kill his own kid so it's like a chase on top of a chase on top of a chase that's actually when I don't mind the camera work. I wish it would have slowed down a little bit and just let the, the, the scene play out and all it's just over the top ridiculous glory. You know, like I said, Mom and Dad, it, it's a movie based on, prem, uh, based on premise and based on what it shows. And what it shows, it's not that bad. It's decent. The acting, for the most part, is decent. But overall, you know, Mom and Dad is a movie you can watch, you can watch to kill time. It's a good time filler movie. It's not offensively bad. But it's not old, but it's not like awesome or great either. It's a nice little dark comedy act, uh, horror action movie. And yeah, I say give it a watch. Why not? My overall grade going to be a 6 out of 10. I recommend it. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Mom and Dad. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Like the video and subscribe. And I'll check you back next time for more.